Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier and this is the Piracy Show. Now on today's show, of course, we're going to be saying some nice things about the Vanguard and some of the ways that things may not be so bad. And I figured I would start off first with, uh, you know, even these weapons here on the nose or whatnot, like CIG can just go in and just change those weapons for whatever they want. They can make that like four size threes. They can make it four size fours or four size fives. They can do whatever they want to just ramp this ship up and to give it more muscle. So, you know, being this early on in this, in this stage of game development, you know, some people might say, oh, well, you guys are, you guys are making mountains out of molehills. It's no big deal. You know, they can just change the values of those weapons and just upgun them and there you go, fixed. So what's what's all the hubbub about? And truth is, I mean, for a lot of gamers who've played a lot of games, be it MMOs or whatever, and who have participated in a lot of early access, you know that even sometimes when you're right on top of developers all the way from alpha all the way to beta all the way to live they let stuff slip through the cracks like this all the time all the time and this is like this is these are triple a games and triple a studios that that this shit just slips right past them and so you got to kind of raise awareness of these issues but you know that's one way that this ship could be fixed another way is and it depends more about well, around the whole star citizen universe is if the universe is truly like 90 percent npcs and 10 percent players and if you know they can't extend you know an instance population limit that high to say maybe a hundred players or more if they can't do it now of course when you say that there's always people that always jump in well it's just a few lines of code and it's going to be over multiple processors so clearly they're going to put a thousand people in an instance and you don't know what you're talking about blah, 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 blah. but we don't know how far that that's going to go See, I mean, you remember like a while ago, people were saying, you know, shit, well, maybe 50, maybe, maybe 100. And, you know, to be honest, that was back when we were saying, well, there's going to be a loading screen when you land on planets. And now that's not the case. So who knows? Instance population limits could go that much further. But then again, networking is always a bit of a tricky thing because, I mean, there's three priorities there. First, you have to ensure that the single player every person playing the game is having a smooth and an enjoyable play experience then you have to ensure that they can play well with their friends that's number two and then number three you have to include other players who may not be their may not be their friends who may just populate the universe with them or be their enemies and so when you start looking at a lot of the ships that are in Star Citizen and some of these big multi-crew ships, it's easy to see how even in a moderately sized org, you could quickly fill up a 50-man instance or possibly even more than that, depending on how much of a fleet you build up. And things could start to get tricky up there around the ceiling. So in a universe like that, if things do turn out, if things do turn out that way, then... A ship like this that was mostly being used for NPCing, then the weapons aren't that bad. They really aren't. The ship in self, itself isn't that bad. It's got long range. It can go for, it apparently, it can go quite a ways. We don't have a value on that yet and probably won't for a while. But, you know, you can do all these, you know, you can go long distance with it. It's great for shooting down NPCs. Fine ship. And then it's not that big of a deal, right? So. But that is if the universe turns out that way. If there's a lot of confrontation with other players, then it's somewhat sluggish nature and it's kind of fixed weaponry may not be ideal in a, in a mostly PvP universe. So you have to take those things into account. So I don't know if it's going to work out quite the way a lot of people want it to. So... 
when I'm talking about ships like this in the Vanguard and when I'm kind of arguing for certain changes, I know some people, they get offended by it. And they're like, oh, well, you know, this is just pre-alpha and this stuff doesn't matter. And it's like, no, no, like this, this is when it matters the most. This is when you, you have to make your voice heard. And this is when you have to get these things in. Because if you don't, there are certain things that can go all the way to to live and you'll sit there and go like this this has been a problem since alpha and but not enough people spoke up about it and it made it all the way to live i mean when you look at a ship like the buccaneer or the reliant which are well the buccaneer appears in many ways to be a very great fighter but when you see those two fixed guns on either on the far ends of the wings and you go what happened there what i mean against a lot of smaller ships if you're using those guns you're really only going to be able to engage with one because the other one's just going to be they're fixed so you're just going to end up shooting off into space with the other gun so you're just if it's projectiles you're wasting ammunition if it's energy then you're wasting energy you're you're overheating for nothing half your firepower just went out the window or with the size four gun one of the selling points one, that they were bringing up when they were talking about as well you can turn the gun around and shoot behind you while you're flying so you can scare people you know i guess scare people away who are trying to chase you right by using the over the uh, shoulder view so now like let's step back and look at that one for a second right so one of the selling points is is that I can turn and look behind me whilst not looking where I'm going and firing at an enemy without any targeting reticles and without any you know any real way to mark the enemy ships so no real accuracy there and at the same time, if I'm doing that, am I really doing the best job that I can be at, at evading fire? And at that point, wouldn't it just be easier to just decouple and flip the ship around and start firing back and maybe throw a little side or up or down strafe on it? Right? It, it, it doesn't make sense that, like, that that's a selling point. And that's, I, I mean, that's kind of where a lot of these arguments kind of get their basis or the good arguments at least. Is it's just, and and you know you don't want to you don't want to ramp ramp it up and you don't want to turn it into a rant video, but it's like, what were you thinking? Come on now, and you know with so many great things going on in Star Citizen, you know with 3.0 and 2.6 and all these things that we're going to be getting, and all this amazing stuff that's coming out, there are there are still these things that um that you'll hear me or other people harp about and i think that they're valid concerns because in to a certain degree it kind of shows um that to a, it's it's really hard to articulate but it's like some ships seemingly are being designed with kind of like an artistic idealization rather than looking at the practical application you know th they're they're designed like oh and we can do this with it and we can do that with it yeah but let's 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 worry about the core aspects of the ship first where are the guns placed oh we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out we'll figure that out no 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 first a fighter isn't a fighter if it doesn't have weapons or effective weapons so weapons first what weapons does it carry and where are we putting them not oh well you know i just i want to make sure that i get the feel of it right and see that's kind of you know i've harped on this before and it's just that's why i kind of argue these things it's because some of these ships you know the vanguard is a great example when you look at the vanguard and compare it to the redeemer firepower wise and capability wise i mean the redeemer blows it away so even though the vanguard can be amped up and the weapons can be taken up it's starting at such a weak point that you have to kind of question 
what were you thinking? You know, the Redeemer or like any ship from the whole, you know, if you hate the Redeemer, any ship from the whole, um, the next great starship, all those ships started off with a far stronger foundation in at least the finalists did in as far as understanding like the practical application of the ship in gameplay. Whereas the Vanguard, it was kind of like, well, it's going to be cool. And, it, it, you know, we're going to put a big gun under the nose and it's going to be cool. But, you know, in certain areas where the ship could have been rescued in certain, you know, envelopes of performance, those were sadly left lacking and the ship didn't turn out so great. And, you know, and once again, like when I was talking about, you know, the point that it has now gotten to the point where, okay, now we're making it an official ship for Squadron 42 and it's going, it's going right in there the way it is now. It, it was kind of like, well, so any of the appearance changes that people were talking about, that's out the window. At this point, you've now committed to the ship the way it looks now. So the die has been cast. The Rubicon has been crossed. It's over. And a lot of the, you know, the weapon issues that we've talked about, well, you've kind of, for now at least, thrown those out the door as well. And that's why, you know, I air these concerns and that's why I make these videos. It's not because I, I'm Derek Smart's buddy, <laughs> you know, I, I want to see an awesome game. I want to see an amazing game, but it's just this stuff seems to just slip through the cracks and no one notices because everyone's too busy saying, well, how pretty does it look? So I, I know maybe, I, maybe I'm just the wet blanket in the room. Who's just sitting there with his arms crossed going, you know, well, I'm not impressed. There are, there is so much in this game that does impress me. And I just look at it and I go, holy shit, this is going to be amazing. But then there's other stuff where I'm like, Okay, but how can you how can you make something so amazing over here and then make the Reliant look like someone just threw the guns at it and just said, okay, wherever they land on the hull, we'll just tape them on there. You know? It's just it's things like that. And you know, when I'm when I'm arguing for the stuff, I'm trying to nip it in the bud before it goes too far. And before it ends up, you know, going live with a weapon layout that I mean is it just that just doesn't make any sense so if you yeah if you're a new subscriber to the channel and you're thinking uh, you know maybe he makes some points but I think this guy's kind of an asshole I am kind of an asshole I am but at the same time I'm never you know I love Star Citizen to death and I I've spent more money on Star Citizen than I'm re really willing to admit. But at the same time, you know, I'm never going to stop arguing these points. Because I think that they're valid points and they're valid concerns. So, just a heads up. If you've, subs if you've recently subscribed to this channel and you're wondering, like, do I like this guy or do I not? He sounds kind of annoying. Apparently my voice is annoying to some people or whatever then i'm just letting you know this this these are the kind of points that i get hung up on and i will bring up from time to time and say hey you know this needs to be fixed but anyways those are some ways that the vanguard could basically still turn out as a good ship but you know it depends on what route cig takes and I mean, it is at the point where we're going, okay, it's, it's now we're bringing out a whole new version of it, but it's, and I'm the guy who's sitting there with his arms crossed going, yeah, but what are you doing for the um, original version of it? Because that still needs to be dealt with. Anyways, yeah. So some great things, so, you know, some great potential, but also some concerns. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Quantum Travel Initiated.